To help support the show and learn more about the weapons tested and approved on this channel, please go to zombiegoboom.com. When the zombie apocalypse arrives, will you survive? Zombie Go Boom. Kick undead ass. Hey, what's up, survivors? Welcome to another mind-blowing episode from the bloodiest show on YouTube, Zombie Go Boom. We are super pumped to be bringing you this episode because you guys have been asking for it over and over and over again. And our guest executioner is Zombie Go Boom's official tattoo artist, Jake. And he's going to be testing, that's right, the cricket bat, which you guys got to see annihilate zombies in Shaun of the Dead. One of my favorite movies, actually. You got red on you. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. At long last, we bring you the Cricket Bat. This object, normally used to play a very polite game, was turned into an iconic zombie killer thanks to the classic film, Shaun of the Dead. I mean, why not? It's three feet or about a meter long, it's two pounds or about a kilogram in weight, and it's made out of quality English or cashmere willow wood. This bad boy is definitely a contender. Let's see if we can get red everywhere. So Jake, what's your plan of attack? Well, I'm gonna hit it square in the face with the flat edge of this uh, cricket bat. And if that doesn't work, I got this slight ridge on this back end. I'm gonna go to the back of the head. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna use the blunt force trauma of this edge right here and go direct vertical strike if I can. A show on YouTube. This episode certainly lives up to that slogan, I say. The cricket bat is definitely zombie go boom approved. Shaun of the Dead got it right. How easy was it to use? It was, I have very little training and I was able to get the most ridiculous almost decapitation with a blunt object. Something you can't tell back there in Homeland is this thing is super light. Like you think it's pretty heavy? Not really, not at all. A lot lighter than a baseball bat. And it did comparable damage even when he hit it flat which is ridiculous so you basically have a two by four with a handle the blood splatter is a little extreme make sure you you know watch out for that because you don't want to get infected but other than that it's amazing so so such a cool weapon if we ever do a live show that's what we're gonna do gallagher style so you guys get all bloody and messy out there in the audience but that uh that's all i have with this mind-blowing episode from zombie go boom check jake out at uh, the Bowery, I'll put a link in the description below. Jake is an awesome tattoo artist. Most of the work on this arm is his, so make sure you check him out in the link below. Also, if you want to help support the show and buy weapons that definitely do this much damage and you'll need them during the zombie apocalypse, please go to zombiegoboom.com. And that's all I have with this mind-blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom. I'm Chuck Murray. I'm Jake Wokoleski. We'll see you next week. Crap. Yay. To help support the show and learn more about the weapons tested and approved on this channel, please go to zombiegoboom.com.